Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to another fun card making video. Today I'm showcasing a new stamp set from the latest release by My Favorite Things and although it is so small you can make so many things with it. So I am going to work with the whale as well as uh, lots of the corals and I will also use the matching dies. These don't come with a stamp set, I just like to store them together. First I will work on my background and if you like underwater scenes or anything that has to do with sea and the ocean, then this is a must have. It's called Scallop Stripe and it is perfect for backgrounds. It is a big stamp set, it's going to cover up completely your card front and uh, it is quite of a generic design, you can use it for pretty much every background. However, when it comes to underwater scenes, I think it is just perfect. So I stamped mine on this uh, white panel with uh, embossing ink and then I'm going to apply white embossing powder. Now if that doesn't come out completely perfect, it's okay, it's just the background, don't uh, worry too much about that. You won't be able to see anything of what I'm doing since I'm working with white on white, however I did the uh, heat set everything and once I start applying my inking on top, then all that lovely design is going to appear magically. So for the background I'm working with Estelle's Oxide inks, I like how vibrant they go over a background when you apply them with a blending tool without using water. And I will move on with a different shades of blue all the way from darker to lighter. Embossing resists the ink so it just stays on top of it, don't forget to use a clean cloth or a paper towel and wipe it off. And now it's time to have some fun with stamping, I'm starting with different corals. For every coral I will use two inks, a darker and a lighter shade, this way I will end up having kind of a dimension so it doesn't look completely flat. Since this is a solid uh, coral, I started with a lighter shade and now with a darker one I'm just touching only the bottom of the stamp, so I get some variation. I'm repeating that uh, technique one more time. At this stage I don't know exactly how many corals I'm going to need for the bottom of my underwater scene, so I'm just stamping enough to have on hand and I can then play along and decide how many I want to use at the bottom. All the stamps that I'm using today do come from the small stamp set I showed you at the beginning, it is called Best Catch Ever and it has uh, four different uh, designs of uh, corals, it has that big whale and four different uh, designs of fish. Plus you get three different sentiments, so although it is such a small stamp set, you, it is really packed with designs, but it's still inexpensive compared to the bigger stamp sets. I did use the matching dies to cut out the corals and the whale, and for the fish, although there is a um, stamp for them as well, I decided to omit stamping the fish, I'm just going to die cut them from black cardstock, this way they are going to look as if they are far at the background. So I have all the elements cut out and ready to go, before I stick everything down I made sure that my bottom was a little bit darker so I just inked it up with black soot there and then I'm going to decide where everything is going to go and stick them down. For the corals I went with glue so they are going to lay completely flat on my background but for the whale I'm going to stick it down with foam tape. Now for the corals I did went with uh, lots and lots of different colors, you can go rainbow order if you like, and as I am arranging them I make sure that I don't put two colors next to each other so that it looks more uh, pleasing to the eye and super colorful. I also made sure that I don't cover up completely the bottom of my seat just for some variation, and finally I'm using my scissors to do some cleanup, chopping off anything that sticks out of the main panel. I'm also going to stick down the little fish. So I'm having a school of fish up at the top, three of them, but you can have even more all packed together. And I will stick the other two at the bottom as if they are swimming in between the corals. 
The panel that I'm working is slightly smaller than the standard card, so I'm going to stick it on top of my card base, and you can see I end up having a little white border. I always like those borders, I feel like they finish off a card nicely. And finally I need to add a sentiment, the sentiment uh, comes from the same stamp set and as a finishing touch I'm going to add some gems, these are white gems from Pink Fresh Studio and I'm going to stick them as if they are coming from the whale. And that was the card for today, super fun, here are some close up photos where you can see the details better. Don't forget to like the video, to leave me a comment as well as subscribe if you haven't done so already and just like always down below in the description area you will find the full list of all the supplies that I used. And I hope you will all have a lovely weekend!